Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Etsy Table Studio here with a book flip. I think I showed this book in a previous video when I was making it. Although one never can be sure. <laughs> I don't know and I'm not going to go look it up. All right, so what this is a uh, three hole pamphlet stitch with no spine other than the bridge between the two pieces, the front and the back. And I don't know what made me do this, but I sewed these buttons on the spine thinking it would be really cool, but actually I found it rather annoying. Um, this is a button that is glued on here, and then there is some, what's this stuff called, glossy accents? Yeah, glossy accents in the middle of the button right here to make it nice and shiny. I like the way it feels. Then I did um, an eyelet in the back, and I had some generic... Uh, elastic that just goes around the button that's propped up by it's bumped up by a um, oh what do you call it I can't remember nobody uses them that much anymore pop-ups uh, pop pop dots so um, it's already come off once so this time I glued it with glossy accents the sticky part on the pop-up does not stay well when you keep opening and closing with this elastic strip around here so I did go ahead when it popped off yesterday I put glass glossy accents on it to make sure the back of the button and the top of the pop dot stay there all right I did a little mandala two-thirds three-quarters <laughs> All right, so this book was inspired by lots of things. Um, it says here uh, it's finished on 122 of 2023. Um, this is stuff from Fodder School. The sewing was just, I don't know, I, I've seen a lot of people sew stuff, and so I got on the sewing paper bandwagon a while ago. Much of this stuff is leftover stuff from doing other journals. And I have a basket that's what I call the black and white works. And the basket is full of nothing but black and white ephemera that I've either made or acquired. So that's basically what this book is, is mostly black and white, but there are places where there's color because I can. So here's the first one. This is a stamp that was gifted to me and there were three of them in a row and I cut two off I guess from some other project and I had these two left and who could waste this because this is a really cool stamp. This is a fake envelope with um, another I think this was a stamp kit and this was one of them says by airmail and I just put it on the top. This is just leftover scrapbook paper a uh, beautiful butterfly, the word stuff, and that's where, when I was working on this, when I found something, I would stick it inside there, and I have two of these, and I guess I did not use both of these. This is a rubber stamp that I have, and I didn't use it, so I stuck it in here for future, future use in the book and never did come back to it. That's the problem with doing, sticking stuff in pockets. All right here I sewed, again, around a piece of black, I think this is cardstock. This is a stamp that was stamped on some paper, and then the Posca. This was from another stamp that I have. I just colored it in. This was scrapbook paper that had the letters of the alphabet on it, and I just cut off F for flower. You Are My Sunshine is my favorite song to sing at night to my dog. I know it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy, but he likes it, and I get big kisses afterwards, so... All right, this, I think, is a stamp that belongs to me that I have no idea if I was gifted or I bought it. Doesn't really matter. This was a picture out of something, so all I did was just color in with the yellow for the, the sun for You Are My Sunshine. The next one I know is paper that came out of, I think it was a magazine, a, the journaling magazine, and I have the... Um, die for this that makes the slides and then use some lace which someone gifted to me I, I wouldn't ordinarily use lace but it needed a little white in there to perk it up because it was so much dark and then I had those little miniature buttons that's just glued on there I like sewing and I, I do I I can't believe I'm saying this but I kind of like the lace I don't know um this was 
drawn. No, this was cut out of scrap of paper. I drew this and painted it. Painted it first and drew over it. These are rubber stamps that I had that I like the set, so I wanted to put them on a whole page together. These are stamped. This is a couple stamped images. This is a stamp. These are those, um, I don't know, textured dots. What do they call them? Something gems. I don't know what they are, but they're wonderful. And because I decided to put teal colored uh, Posca down here, I colored a, a picture and I just cut it out with the uh, punch so that they would balance each other out with the color. Neither one of these envelopes opens. I really like the teal blue and I wanted to continue with it so I made a pocket. I just glued on a strip of paper that I had sewn on that didn't go well and I figured, eh, not wasting it. Drew a little, you know, little doodads on there and this is, um, I, this is, I, yep, this came from a stamp set that I have. And I just took other scraps and laid them down there and then glued that stuff on top of them. And I think it was a piece of black cardstock that I had already sewn with the teal blue on it and saved it and thought it would be good in here in the pocket. These are all flowers that I learned how to make on fodder school. I did the acemic writing behind them and then I glued steadily up with the uh, flowers from fodder school. And yes, there's a giant paper clip here, but that's because this is one of those um, paper clip, I, I don't know what you call them. Are, well, it's a paper clip pocket. First of all, it has a pocket with some words. This is all black cardstock. And then I had scrapbook paper and glued it onto a base. And then um, this is a stamp I had. There's a fake envelope underneath it. And I got the word travel from fodder school. And this thing moves back and forth. Although I don't advise you fool around with it too much because it's going to rip that off. But I really like the paper clip. I thought it was kind of awesome. That's a big old paper clip. And it fills in a spot. So a lot of this stuff is old scrapbook paper. Just a painted piece of paper that was the teal, scrapbook paper, black cardstock. The same goes for all this stuff. These are stamps that I had, and I wanted to use them somewhere. And there's one of those, those um, I guess, are they called? I don't know what they're called. Some kind of gems or something. Um, this was just something I drew. Fake envelope, stamp, stamp, fake envelope, stamp, stamp, stamp. Scrap paper with horrible sewing my favorite kind. <laughs> Probably the only kind I really do. Um, I found these two pictures in a drawer that I had that I was saving for something else and I decided, nope, not going to save it. Um, so I took them and glued them on here at first and I thought, well, the page is kind of empty. So then I took another thing that I had stored away, black cardstock, and I drew this with uh, white this is a white, what is it? E -e -e -e. My friend Peg sent it to me. Son of a gun, the word just totally, ink pad, <laughs> white ink pad, oh my God. <laughs> and I stamped, or I stamped it and then went around the image that I drew. Well, actually, did I draw this? Yeah. And then I filled it in, but, but Peg did send me a white stamp and it'll be in here somewhere else. This was just stuff I put together because I really like the butterflies. And here is that um, slide die cut. These are from, this is from Fodder School, Fodder School, Fodder School, Scribbles, copy, I uh, mean, um, scrapbook paper and something else I drew from fodder school. This is that same stamp that was on this other side on one of these that was red, the red poppy. That's what this is right here. So I wrote the word poppy on there and glued it on. I think it was supposed to be a tag for something else. And because I wanted to continue the blue, I put the blue flower over here. 
these, I, I, I lost my mojo somewhere around here, but this was after I'd filled up many pages in the back. But I like this, I love this photograph of these butterflies. I don't know why I put the 45 on there. I have no idea what that's, I don't remember doing this. <laughs> that's just, that's my story that's sticking to it. And, and the thing is, is not only do I not understand this page, but I don't get this one either. I think I tried to fix this page by putting this color and the butterfly over here because I, I didn't have another big butter, anyway. <laughs> Matters not. This was something I learned how to do. I, I It's just humpy doodles that are colored in, and I think I got this idea from, oh, I want to say, Alicia Burke, because I had taken one of her classes online. And these, again, are, the, are flowers from Fodder School. And to keep it so that there's the same color on both sides, I put one down here. These were, um, this is a rubber stamp on old paper. Cardstock, rubber st uh, stamps and cut out glue things. And then those little tiny brads that look like buttons. I love those things. I like the brads. All right, so this one was done over a couple of days. As you can see, it gets a little confusing. <laughs> so it started out with this. No, yeah, started with this. Then I glued that on top of it. And I thought, well, I need something else. And then I, I just, okay, moving on. <laughs> so this one, I had leftover pieces of paper from a book. This was the corner pieces that I cut off. And I like them so much, I glued them staggered up this way to put other things in them. And I was going through my fodder school book and I found the mushrooms that I painted. And I was like, oh, I want to put mushrooms in there. So this color goes with it. And then I put the black and white on there. I, sometimes there's just no explanation. It was in the moment. I do like this arrangement of it, though. I, I, do, I do like this. Okay, now I remember what this is. This is my stencil that I did with the white ink pad that Peg sent me. That's what those are. Then I took scrapbook paper that I had left over, put it on there, did the pink. After I had done this side, I decided that I needed the pink to go, you know, so I punched these out with a little miniature pump, punch, and just drew circles with them. Again, fodder school flowers. This is a stamp, and this is the antique paper with a rubber stamp on it. Okay, I must have been brain dead when I did this one. <laughs> you know, they look good at the moment, and then you go back and go, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Anyway, I did green. What can I say? I like green. I can't help myself. Just a mishmash. And so I like pink and red. Not as much as I like green. Just saying. When I had these long pieces of coffee dyed paper that were cut off, they were leftovers. I sat down one day and just doodled things on them and put them in a little drawer on the desk. And I was looking for something else for inspiration. And when I went through the drawer, I was like, oh, hey, I like this. So this is jelly print. This is, I think this is also jelly print. And I just drew that on there to keep it going, which is a little, little busy. I took leftover paper that was stenciled or stamped and glued the pockets on. Then I found these and just stuck them in the pockets. I say that as I can't get back in there. There we go. Um, and then I had a leftover heart glued it on. And I liked this. I thought I need to break up some of the pink on here by putting black on here because I don't have a lot of black. This is the yellow phase. <laughs> Again, the flowers. A doodle heart. This came from a rubber stamp. Same with this. Um, this is a rubber stamp. Just kind of doodled around a little bit. I need to glue it down a little. I see it got a little gap. Um, but I like this rubber stamp, and, uh, and I did it with watercolor. I stamped it with watercolor. And we're in a blue phase. This is a die cut from Tim Holtz. They were, you know. Then I took paper that I, I think it is a jelly print. 
So I took the jelly print and I did hold it up next to the flower, which was white at the time. So I colored in the blue and the green. This was a strip that was left over for something else. And behind each uh, th one of these circles is jelly printed paper that's left over so I could fill in over the white in here. And I didn't want so much white. I wanted to tone it down. So I did put the blue fill-ins there with, you know, that, that they're from a giant punch. Okay, this is a tag that I had a while and it had the blue on it. I said, well, that's perfect. Again, just, I think this came off of something close to this one. It's just a jelly print. And again, with the giant paper clip, because it's a pocket and it has a little tag in it. If I can get it back in here. There we go. This is a jelly print with a sticker and then I just kind of doodled around it. Pocket with a something that I had, it's a, I think it's supposed to be a salt shaker, but I'm not really sure. It came out of a set I bought at Hobby Lobby many years ago. Oh, here's the one from here. <laughs> Butterfly doodles that were cut in strips and I had to cut some of it off to fit something else. So I um, saved all the little strips and then I glued them in places where I need them, like this. More doodles, scrapbook paper, fake envelope. Uh, yeah, this one's a fake envelope. This was a corner piece and I just kind of cut it wonky a little bit to give it a little more interest. This is just a doodle that was left over from something else. Basically, this most of this stuff is little leftovers. Again, with the, the dies, it's a slide. Fake envelope, this was doodled I think because of Alicia Burke, or maybe Fodder School, can't really remember. I like the tealy colors, I had this already sewn on there, and so I used some of my stuff from Fodder School in here and bits and pieces of other things. Then we did the lavender, two page lavender side. I had a good time doing this. And they, these are not brads, they're just little colors that were circled, uh, colored in, little circles that were colored in. This was a strip, strip left over from doing something else. And it's a stencil. This is a die cut, Tim Holtz, I drew this. Now we're back to black. And because I wanted this to be all black and white, I didn't use any colory things in it. I did doodle around it to make sure the images kind of connect together. Doodle the little flower thing, because that flower stuck in the middle. Excuse me, the flower stuck in the middle looked a little weird. And then I just went and doodled. Yellow. Again, leftover peeper. Uh, this is a napkin. Um, this is the doodle that I did on coffee dyed paper and set it aside. Same with these. I stamped that bunch of antique paper with the rubber stamp and saved those, put those aside. The same with this number. This is from Fodder School. Doodle. This is off a pad of paper. Miniature scrapbook paper pad. This is glued on there to make it look like it's in a pocket and I ended up gluing it down because I thought, well, it needs to stick up higher. This is one of my doodles. Doodle, scrapbook paper, little tiny paper clip. This is a corner pocket where you can stick something under here and you can stick something under here, but it kept coming off. So I just went ahead and put the little miniature Tim Holtz paper clip on it. Drew this, set it aside for a future date. And there I am. This is the end of the book and I have more black flowers in here that I planned on using and never did. But I like them in the pocket. And here we are at the last of it. Again, I when I put stuff on here, I didn't realize how it didn't really connect. So when I put the flower on here, I decided to kind of doodle, 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 and then doodle at the end. So they had something in common all the way down the page. This is another doodle that I did for a future date. I just sat around one day, took strips of paper that were at least an inch and a half wide and just doodled on one thing right after the other and then cut them up into uh, rectangles, cut them up 
and then put them in a drawer. And then when I need inspiration or I need a filler piece, I would just go through the drawer and that was there. This is a rubber stamp that I cut out. So that is my little black and white book that I think I've had it sitting in my works in progress basket for oh, six months to a year. So I had a lot of downtime in the month of January and I decided I need to do something with my time. And um, I just finished my book. So that's a work in progress that is now finished. All right, everybody, thanks for watching the, the book flip. Hopefully um, I will come up with some other stuff pretty soon. I haven't been feeling well like almost the whole month of January. So I'm a little slow to produce stuff, but I'm getting there. So thank you for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.